What's up, family? My name is Trail, and we are starting to see more and more discussions about a fourth stimulus check being offered to the American people. This is on the heels as gas prices continue to rise, as well as inflation peaking at levels that we haven't seen in over 40 years. But lawmakers are bringing back the discussions once again in a push to release more stimulus checks. We have already seen local states and cities offering their own version of a stimulus check to its local residents, but Congress could be headed in the right direction to approve of federal stimulus checks. Also, guys, hey, we have information of some new legislation that is pushing for a local $500 stimulus check to its residents. I'm going to tell you exactly who that is for. But as a quick reminder, guys, hey, on this channel, we cover everything from what's going on around the world with the stock market, with the war in Ukraine, as well as multiple daily news stories around the world. So if you're interested in any of those topics today and you want to be a part of this channel, be so kind and go ahead and subscribe to it. It's totally free. And if you end up liking today's video, then go ahead and hit that like button for us. It really helps out this channel. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Okay, guys, real quick, I wanted to remind you about the free $100 that you can get within a couple of weeks. Chime Bank is offering new customers a free $100 if you sign up using a referral code and setting up a direct deposit from your employer. Once you reach that total of $200 or more in direct deposited money, you can immediately get the additional free $100 deposited into your account. Now, I actually did this just a couple of days ago and I received my money very quickly guys so it is very legit guys so if you are interested in receiving that free $100 hey go ahead and sign up today using the link down below once you receive that free $100 hey you can immediately transfer the money back into your regular banking account and then you never have to use chime bank again if you don't want to but it is a great bank to actually use guys because they charge you zero in fees so again guys hey if you want to get some free money free $100 go ahead and sign up for a chime bank account today that link will be down below in the description well guys it looks like we are not out of the woods just yet because it appears that moderna and pfizer believe that we actually need a second booster shot right here it says moderna is asking for fda to authorize additional booster shots for all adults now moderna has asked for the emergency authorization that would allow all adults to receive a second covid 19 booster shot according to the company stated on this past thursday but this request is likely to intensify an ongoing scientific debate over how long protections from the two most used vaccines in the United States last in the face of new variants. Now, this particular move towards a second booster shot is an attempt to combat wanting immunity that occurs several months after a first booster shot. Now, but so far, guys, hey, this fourth dose of the COVID-19 vaccine has already been authorized for immunocompromised people, but they are trying to get it approved for all adults and then we all know what comes after that guys they're going to get it approved for our children let me know what you think down below in the comment section but anyways guys hey moving on in regards to the ukraine and the russian attack right now now so far we have already been talking about how the ukrainians have been very strong in trying to defend their country as well as about 3.1 million refugees have already left ukraine's going to poland or some of the surrounding countries trying to flee this war on Ukraine. But one thing that we haven't talked about is as far as how many Russians have been affected by this. And I'm not talking about the Russian troops. I am talking about the Russian residents in the country of Russia. Yes, guys, no one is actually talking about this. But I ended up finding this article that actually speaks a little bit about it. It says that tens of thousands of Russians have actually fled to Istanbul since Russia actually invaded Ukraine last month according to a NYT report. And they are saying that discussions about how Putin's war with the Ukrainians is impacting life in Russia. So anyways, guys, I thought that was interesting because we know that all the propaganda is putting on the government-ran TV networks, which is showing that uh, Russia is actually doing the right thing and rescuing all Ukrainians from Nazis. But we all know that is not the case, guys. 
lives. But it's curious to see in which some people in Russia actually know what's going on and they are not happy about it. And they have actually chosen to actually leave the country for good. And they are saying right here, it says tens of thousands of Russians have fled to Istanbul. But anyways, guys, I just thought that was very interesting to hear. And then we see right here in this article where it talks about Ukrainian forces and volunteers have handed Vladimir Putin one of his most comprehensive routes in a small town. Now, what this goes on to say is that, hey, so far, there have been more than 7,000 Russian troops have been killed since Putin actually started this invasion on Ukraine on February the 24th, which is a staggering number in which just happened in over three weeks of fighting, guys. So that is very important to know because I believe there are around 130,000 troops being sent over and to actually have 7,000 of them being killed so far, it is really troublesome right now for the Russians. But on the flip side, guys, hey, the Russians have destroyed pretty much everything in almost all of the little cities within Ukraine. And it was just reported yesterday that they have destroyed over 90% of Maripol. So again, guys, hey, you have some good things and then you have some bad things. But overall, the Ukrainian people are still staying strong and they are still putting up a great huge fight against the Russians and trying to protect the capital of Ukraine, which is Kiev. So again, guys, as usual, as I talked and said in the previous video, that we will continue to keep them in our prayers during this time of this economic disaster in the country of Ukraine, guys. But anyways, hey, let's go ahead and move on because we do see, we do have some interesting news right here because the United States is planning on punishing China if they give military aid and food to Russia in their efforts in invading Ukraine. Yes, this article says that the U.S. will punish China if it gives military aid to Russia. Now, what it's saying specifically is that we heard from the secretary, which is Anthony Blinken, which said on Thursday that the United States would punish China if President Yi chose to give military aid to Russia for the war in Ukraine, where Russian forces have killed thousands of civilians. And and in a statement, he said that we're concerned that they're considering directly assisting Russia with military equipment to use in Ukraine. And President Biden will be speaking to President Yi tomorrow and will make it clear that China will bear responsibility for any actions that it takes to support Russia's aggression. And we will not hesitate to impose costs on those. That is what President Biden has to say so far. But... President Biden is planning on meeting with President Yi sometime today, guys. So I will have more updated information to give to you guys in regards to how that meeting actually went. But so far, we don't know exactly what they are going to do in this particular uh, instance. But I will keep you guys posted as usual. But moving on, guys. Hey, we do need to talk about some stimulus checks, guys, because everyone wants to know, especially as gas prices continues to go up, as the prices for goods and services continues to go up as well as inflation continues to rise at all-time highs which we haven't seen these particular levels of inflation in over the past 40 years guys but i do have a bit of good information because recently the democrats unveiled a new stimulus plan that will issue quarterly stimulus checks to Americans. Yes, this particular article talks about it, guys, and Democrats unveil a plan to issue quarterly checks to Americans by taxing oil companies that are posting huge profits. Yes, guys, it looks like the Democrats wants to use those oil companies because of the rise in gas prices, because they just really don't need to raise the prices on gas, but they are still doing it, and then they are bragging about the huge profits that they are making on this gas, but the Democrats want to introduce a plan that is going to penalize those oil companies for bragging as well as making additional money off the American people. And in this article, it says that Democrats are rolled out a plan to issue these quarterly checks. The bigger thing is that this is going to save everyone additional money. Now, the proposal faces some steep odds for passage, given that the GOP is giving resistance to offering additional stimulus aid to the American people, or better known as stimulus checks. But 
the Democrats are still trying to fight for the low and moderate income individuals. And yes, guys, this particular article talks about exactly that. In this bill they introduced this past Thursday is wanting to tax the largest oil companies, which has recorded their biggest profits in years, and use that money to provide quarterly checks to Americans facing sticker shock just about everywhere that they look in regards to inflation, gas prices, uh, food prices, and everything else in between, guys. But this particular legislation would apply only to large firms like ExxonMobil that produce or import over 300,000 oil barrels a day, and they are exempt of smaller companies. So this 50% tax would be imposed on the difference between the current price of the barrel and the average price between 2015 and 2019. Hey, we do have all sorts of other news talking about how the American people need additional stimulus checks and whether the government or the federal government is going to provide those stimulus checks sometime this year. We are seeing multiple articles talking about this particular thing. We see in this article right here, it says that high gas prices are prompting calls for tax breaks as well as additional stimulus checks. And then we also see this article right here says soaring gas prices are hurting Americans and it's time for more stimulus checks. And hopefully one of these different discussions is going to provide this to actually come to fruition. But let's just go ahead and read a little bit of information right here, guys. It says that a recent report by Moody's Analytics estimated that inflation was costing the average household about $276 more per month or about $1,100 per quarter. And given the instability in oil markets over Russia's invasion of Ukraine, it wouldn't be surprising if those costs increase to more than $300 a month. But so far, many Americans, especially those who are in low or moderate income uh, areas, can't afford to absorb such a rapid price increase, especially to go along with the increase in food and other services. But unfortunately, the federal government has limited tools to directly help families cope with the rising gasoline prices and the overall increase in inflation. The administration could create a new program to help lower income families pay for the high price of gasoline, as well as raising interest rates to slow the economy and increase pressure on the OPEC nations to increase petroleum production and to find ways to ease the supply chain disruptions. Now, while all of these actions could help the American people, they would take time to work their way through the economy and to slow the growth of the inflation. Families need help right now. And again, guys, like I said, guys, these gas prices are over the price of $4 in most of your local areas. And actually, the average price is around $4.20, guys. So yes, and if you look at things, last year, guys, the gas prices was around under $3. And here we are sitting above $4. And this thing doesn't seem that it is going to end anytime soon, guys. So we could very well see the average price of gasoline hit up to $4.50 within the next 30 days. So again, guys, this is more reason of why the federal government needs to approve of additional stimulus checks to offer the American people that are really struggling right now. And we can also see right here in this article, just the regular American people are not the only ones that are struggling right now. We also have our gig workers. They are saying that they are struggling as well. And right here we see that this article says that gig workers are saying that these high gas Gas prices may be the breaking point for them to end their gig jobs. Yes, guys, it says that some drivers say that they find it very hard to justify spending hours and hours on the road for Uber or Lyft or even those companies that deliver food to continue this tick and up on gas prices, guys. This is affecting everyone, guys. And this could be another sign of these individuals leaving these particular gig markets actually move over to filing for unemployment, which in what is going to return our unemployment numbers is going to skyrocket. So again, guys, hey, this is not a good look, guys, but it says that gas prices have risen in the recent weeks and Mr. Podash has barely been breaking even. To compensate, he has focused on driving during peak customer hours and tried to fill up a cheaper gas stations in the area around San Francisco, where he actually works. He has also reduced his driving time from about 45 hours each week to roughly around 20 hours. And this is what he said in a statement. He said, it hurts. I don't 
have money coming in. Mr. Potash, 48 years old, said of his reduced hours, but I'm not willing to operate at a loss which what they are talking about right now is that it is costing more money to actually fill up their cars and stay on the road continuously, trying to go and pick up Uber drivers and Lyft drivers and take them to their destinations or either sit in traffic. It is not worth it because of these increase in gas prices. And we all know, hey, gas prices in California are now seeing somewhere around even six to $7 per gallon of gasoline, guys. So again, hey, these gig workers are really being affected right now. And it says that gig workers who drive for riding, hauling, and delivery companies like Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash have been hit hard by the rising gas prices because their ability to earn money is tied directly to driving hundreds of miles each week. And because of the drivers or contract workers, the companies do not reimburse them for the cost of fueling up. But on the good side is DoorDash was actually reimbursing some of their drivers in relation to the gas price increase. But in addition to more stimulus checks, guys, hey, we did hear from President Biden in which he mentioned this during the State of the Union address in which he talked about the enhanced Build Back Better bill, which is going to include some form of legislation, which is going to provide and approve of additional stimulus checks to the American people. So again, guys, we are continuing to see more and more talks and discussions around uh, providing additional stimulus checks to the American people. And hopefully this thing is going to pick up a little bit more traction in the day ahead. But we do know that the GOP continuously is being in opposition of providing additional stimulus checks to the American people. But anyways, guys, I will keep you guys posted as usual. But last but not least, guys, hey, we do have one state calling for additional $500 stimulus checks. And this is not for the gas tax holiday. They are saying that we just want to give our residents in Minnesota this $500 boost in stimulus checks just to ease the pain at the gas pumps. Yes, the Minnesota governor is pushing lawmakers to pass bigger rebate checks instead of providing a gas tax holiday as inflation surges to levels that have not been seen over the past 40 years. Now, the governor is proposing direct payments of $500 to adults who make less than $165,000 a year and $1,000 per couple making less than $273,000 per year. He has also tripled the size of checks since he first proposed them back in January and his administration now estimates the cost being at around $2 billion. Now he said that the checks are part of his updated spending plan that was released this past Thursday. But again guys, hey, that is just what's going on in Minnesota and I hope they are able to pass that piece of legislation here very quickly and offer that stimulus check to the American people. But anyways, guys, hey, I hope all of this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. Now, if you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more, hey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.